Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. So I see a lot of people online wondering what is the best and easiest way to become a data analyst, ideally without spending weeks and months doing online courses, and especially if your background is completely unrelated with the world of data. And well, if you're one of those people or just interested to see how I did it, then make sure to stick around till the end, because today I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks that helped me to eventually follow my passions and become a data analyst. So just to give you a bit of context, if you are new to the channel, I am Lore and at the start of my career I was working for a big four consulting in London in a field that is called uh, data governance. However, I soon realized that there was not really the field that I was interested in. And well, yeah, after quite a bit, I finally decided that I wanted to become a data analyst. The only problem is that even though I was already working in the data space, I did not have any prior data analyst experience, apart from maybe a few tools that I was absolutely confident with. But so what? So what I try to do is uh, basically ask myself, what is it that a data analyst does? And well, the answer is that we can try to oversimplify the data analyst role into two main tasks. So numero uno, which is more on the input side of the data analyst role. Well, basically the data analyst needs to get some data from a specific source or somewhere and they will probably need to clean the data, transform it, maybe making a few aggregations, a few calculations to basically have the data ready to be used. And in order to do that, they will likely use some coding language, which is likely to be either SQL or Python. Numero due, which is more on the output side. So when the data is ready to be used, the data analyst will need to create some story around this data with some cool charts, dashboards or reports, and then show that to the client or the end user. And for this type of task, a data analyst will likely use a data visualization tool, which might be, for example, Tableau or Power BI. And well, with this context in mind, my choice was, okay, should I start from task number one or task number two? And well, I decided to focus more on the second task, which is basically the data visualization side of things. And so basically starting my learning curve from there, to eventually become a fully skilled data analyst. And well, this choice proved to be very successful to me as I landed my first data analyst project in less than three months since I started learning more about data visualization. And well, now I want to tell you why I think this is the best and easiest way to become a data analyst, especially if your background is sort of similar to mine. So the first reason is to begin with the end in mind. Well, there are dozens of tools that data analysts use on a daily basis. And so it is very easy to, you know, concentrate it on one tool and basically forget about the core of what you're doing. And so, for example, for me, it is absolutely useless to become a super expert in SQL, for example, without knowing how to tell a story with uh, data and deliver some insights to a client. And so because probably 70 or 80 percent of the times the data analyst role will involve telling a message to the client with some sort of charts or dashboard or even a simple table. Well, I think that learning a data visualization tool is the best way to kind of keep your end goal in mind without getting distracted and really developing the number one skill of a data analyst, which is telling a story with data. Reason number two, people are visual and hands-on learners. While coding can be a bit tricky if you are a visual learner, well, also for me it was way easier to learn a data visualization tool compared to a programming language. And well, this is because you might not have seen any lines of codes in your life unless you obviously have a technical background. Whereas, well, data visualizations are in our day-to-day -day life. Just think about the weather forecast or your calendar or even your Uber app. So yeah, maybe, you know, easier to start learning something that you have seen in your life before in some shape or form. Reason number three, determine what your customers need and work backwards. 
So yeah, here, as we said before, if we think about the data analyst tasks to kind of end with some sort of charts or dashboard, if you master that and you have that final result clear in your head, then you can basically go backwards and kind of, you know, start working more on the number one task that we said at the start of the video, so more on the input side. And so, yeah, obviously this depends on the context, but I personally found that it was easier for me to start from the data visualization tool and then go backwards because I was very clear on what I was doing. Whereas I found that, you know, starting to learn coding from scratch, I was kind of getting lost and not really clear of what I was doing. Reason number four, kill two birds with one stone. So this is maybe one of my favorite here. You have to consider that by learning a visualization tool, you are subconsciously also learning how to code. And let me explain here. So just consider that, for example, when I use my favorite data visualization tool, which is Tableau, the tool that I started to kind of learn and master, basically everything that you do within Tableau can be translated into a SQL statement. So, you know, in a line of code. And so when you're getting familiar with this type of data visualization tool, maybe Tableau itself, then you can kind of start connecting the dots and thinking, oh, okay, so this thing that I was doing in Tableau can be translated into maybe a select statement in SQL or maybe a where clause. And so this might be actually a very good way to approach a new programming language and the coding word from scratch to basically use some foundation that you have in a different tools like Tableau. And this has been actually the, the case for me. Another reason is to sell the result and not the course. Well, another very powerful aspect of start learning a data visualization tool first is that if you get familiar with these kind of tools and you know you create your first charts or dashboard then you can add those to your kind of portfolio and then this portfolio that you created actually you know can be showcased to anyone to prove your skills in a very easy way because you know those are visuals and so maybe you know you can incorporate your portfolio on a website and maybe sending a link or just you know taking some few screenshots here and there so yeah much more immediate than for example showcasing your coding skills which you know might be very tricky and so yeah these are the reasons why i think starting from a data visualization tool is actually the easiest and best way to become a data analyst and so yeah the so what of this video is to just pick a data visualization tool i chose tableau but you know that is not really the point the point is that if we recap what we said by choosing a data visualization tool as your kind of start of the learning uh, path towards becoming a data analyst uh, you will stay focused on your end goal and main skill as a data analyst which is telling a story with data make it easy to learn something new as it can be way more immediate to learn in a more visual way also make it easy to progressively learn other tools by starting from the end result and working backwards optimize your learning time because by getting skilled in a data visualization tool, you subconsciously learn about other tools like SQL. And then be able to easily sell and show what you're doing, your skills, and some practical samples of final deliverables and products you created. And well, please, please, please do let me know in the comments down below what you think about this approach, if you agree or not, starting with a data visualization tool to eventually land a data analyst job. I will leave some links at the end of this video to some other content that I created around the data analyst career. And well, as always, if you feel like this video was useful to you or maybe a friend, share some love, subscribe to my channel, put a like and maybe uh, reach out in the comment section down below. And well, I really hope this was helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.